Gary, disappointing defeat against Eastleigh. How would you describe the performance? That's putting it very mildly, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, we were bitterly disappointed. Um, it was just uh, a very, very poor display. What made it such a poor display for you? I don't know, I ain't got a clue. Preparation was no different to how we prepare. The presentation we gave the players, um, me and James, it was quite clear what Eastleigh's strengths and weaknesses are. Um, and it was quite evident on the on the performance by Eastleigh, uh, what they were good at and what they areas that we were going to hurt them with. But if you can't take opportunities when they come about, if you can't deliver a ball from a set play, you've got a problem because me, James, Russ and Steve can't go on the enter the field of play and deliver it. That's the responsibility of the players. So as much as um, I want to protect the players, they've let themselves down. So, were there some fundamental problems out there this afternoon? It wasn't just a, a, a case of a bit of bad luck here and there, because the, the team did have chances. Bad luck, mate. Had, I'm not taking anything away from Eastley. They probably had three entries into our penalty area, scored twice, and Lewis has made a save. How many entries did we make into their penalty box? How many deliveries were made into their penalty box? I'm not taking anything away from Eastley. So we've got to get this right. And if you can't finish, if you can't put a header away from about four yards out, if you can't deliver a, a set piece, a corner kick, okay, sometimes you get it wrong. Not the amount of times we got it wrong today. So uh, look, we've got no divine right to be in the, in the playoffs. Um, and we're going to have to work extremely hard to get in there. On the evidence of today, it's going to be a hell of a lot of hard work. Do you feel that that's, that's now in question? Of course it is. We're not in there. We're not guaranteed to be in there. Um, and we've got no divine right to be in there. You know, you have to work for everything in life. Um, did we work today? I have to ask the players that. So did you, did you feel it was in the execution, in the, the energy levels, the... You know, there, there, I think a lot of people will see there was, there was quite a lot out there that, that wasn't the usual Lord Shot Town performance, but is there something you can, you can put your finger on, or, or is it across the board that it was well, just... We've had opportunities uh, today, we've had opportunities this season, and have we taken advantage of them, opportunities that have uh, arisen? No, we haven't, and you eventually run out of opportunities, and we've got, what, five games to, to go? Them opportunities are running out. There's a lot of competition for places, there are pl good players not involved this afternoon. I suppose they, everybody that started this afternoon, they're all not just playing for something this season, for the, for the ongoing, for the future, for the club's future and their future, I suppose. Well, you've touched on it. I just had an interview and I said exactly what you said. Every time a player enters the field of play, he's playing for his career and they're playing for contracts. And... You know, we at this football club, can only, we only give a year contract out and time's running out. And, you know, they're playing for their livelihoods, they're playing for their careers, they're playing for their families. Now, whether they know they've got a contract elsewhere, I don't know that. They, they only know that. But um, at this club at the moment, we have to make decisions in a few weeks' time. And we have to wait and see what them decisions will be now. You've said so often about how, how good how honest the team are, how, how it's a good squad, they're a good professional bunch. Yep. You're expecting to see that honesty in training this week and against Maidenhead next Saturday? No, we, get, we have that and that's not, that's not an issue. But opportunities, you have to take an opportunity, otherwise it goes. They're short careers and, you know, at the moment we're in the playoff area. In a few weeks' time we might be in there. We have to make sure we're in there. And it was an opportunity today to make sure that we we put some pressure on clubs around us. It's an opportunity, we didn't take it. And they're a good group, but they've let themselves down. You know, opportunities though, in, in, a, in your football career, I said it to players there, how many opportunities do you get to get into playoffs, promotion, possibly, possibly Wembley? Um, but that's a, that's a long, long way away, because if we get into the playoffs and there's an opportunity, will we take it? We ain't taken it up to this point. And I suppose the worst thing, if you give your all and you come up short, you accept that. But if you, if you die wondering, that must 
be the biggest regret of all, I suppose. Just to touch on it's a short career. Take the opportunity when it's there. Thank you, Harry. Thank you.